I think she would preach the sermon if anyone would let her. Is that George Armstrong's wife? Yes. Well, maybe she'll try to run the hospital. Because that's where she is. I ran into George at the drugstore. He said his wife broke her leg this morning. She'll be in traction for two weeks and wait up till the first of the year. Till the first of the year? We'll have to cancel Christmas. She's in charge of Christmas? Well, she's in charge of the pageant. She's in charge of the bazaar. I mean, I feel sorry for Helen, but who's going to do all those things? <laughs> Every day. And you know what? I don't care if you still 
my dessert. I'll even give it to you. I get all the dessert I want in Sunday school. Well, oh, yeah, what kind? All kinds. Chocolate cake and candy bars and cookies and ice cream and I get all the refreshments all the time, all we want. You're a liar. And donuts and cupcakes. Who gives it to you? Uh, the minister. Why? Is he crazy? No. I think he's rich. Sunday school, huh? Hey, Ralph, listen to this. That was the wrong thing to tell the herdmen. Sure enough, the very next Sunday, there they were in Sunday school, just in time to hear about the Christmas pageant. What's a pageant? It's a play. Like on TV? What's it about? It's about Jesus. Everything here is. And it's about Mary, too. Mostly, it's about Mary. Who's Mary? I am. <laughs> Probably I am. I know the part. Okay, come on, Beth. Charlie, come on, David. Hi, what did you do this weekend? Okay, this won't take very long for you. All set down. Okay, okay. Now, today we are going to... Boy, settle down, please. Okay, today we are going to decide who's going to play our main parts in our Christmas pageant. But of course, everyone will have an important part to play. You know what Mrs. Armstrong says? There are no small parts, only small part uh, uh, actors. Isn't that what Mrs. Armstrong always says? That's what she always says, but she never says what it means. Don't you know what it means? I know what it means. It means that the short kids have to stand in the front row of the angel choir, or else nobody can see them. Well, then not exactly, thank you. What it means is that the littlest baby angel is just as important as Mary. I don't think anyone is as important as Mary. Not to realize, but that's what you think. But I think Jesus is more important. I still think it means that the short kids have to stand in that, 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 that. So Mary, 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 Everyone is important. Mary and Jesus and the short kids. <laughs> okay, is everyone here? Uh, let's see. Beverly, would you go out into the hall and make sure that there's no one else out there ready to come in? Now, you little people will be our angel. And make sure that you remind your mothers that we'll need uh, vegetables. And also, oh, oh, uh, make room for the herdmen. Um, where's Beverly? I think she went home. I think she got sick. Did she say she was sick? She just left. All I did was say, hi, Beverly, and she just left. Well, all right. Would someone please remember to tell Beverly about the rehearsal for the every Wednesday after school? Okay. Um, what, what if we get sick? No one's going to get sick. Now, remember that Mary and Joseph need to make sure that they're here every single week. What if they get sick? They're not going to get sick either, Elder. Well, Beverly got sick and we haven't even started yet! We don't know that Beverly is sick. Okay, now I'd like you all to think about about Mary. Now, we all know what kind of person Mary was. Mary was gentle and quiet and kind. And the girl that plays that part should try to be like that. And so, do we have any volunteers for our Mary? Imogene, did you have a question? No, I want to be Mary. And Ralph over there, he wants to be Joseph. Yeah, right. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, we'll just make a list of the volunteers and then we'll decide who should play those parts. Okay, Ralph, Ferdinand. Is there anyone else that would like to play Joseph? Did you raise your hand, Elmer? No. Um, anyone? Would, um, any of you shepherds? Now, Imogene has volunteered 
to play the part of Mary. And I'll just write that down. Are there anyone else that would like to play that part? Um, raise your hands. Uh, Maxine? Beth? Alice? Would you like to volunteer? No, I don't want to. I'll be Mary! Shut up, Gladys. I'm already Mary. You be a wise man. Well, wise men are usually boys. I'll be a wise man! Me too! He's on you. You want to be a wise man? Raise your hand. What's a wise man? Just raise your hand. What's left to be? Some angel. I'll be that. What is it? Well, it's the angel of the Lord who goes to the shepherds and, and tells them that Jesus is born. Oh, good. We have some volunteers. <coughs> David, would you like to be a shepherd? No, I just wanted to say I can't be a wise man. We're going to Philadelphia. Why didn't you say so before? I just remembered. And she doesn't want me to be a shepherd. Why not? She just said I don't want to be a shepherd. <laughs> I'm not going to be a shepherd. Yes, you are. What is the matter with all of you? I'm not going to be a shepherd. Glass for me to hit too hard. Why is her isn't going to hit anyone? The angel of the Lord just comes to the shepherd in the field and tells them that Jesus is born. And
going to be over here backstage, and then the shepherds come down and they come around the main. Where do all the shepherds come from anyway? What to it? It's like a motel where people go to spend the night. What people? Jesus? Oh, honestly, Jesus wasn't even born yet. Mary and Joseph went there. Why? Pay their taxes! I am Shut up, Ollie! Everybody, shut up! I want to hear her! Begin at the beginning! The beginning? The beginning of the play! What happens first? Well, Imogene, this is a Christmas story out of the Bible. Haven't you ever heard the Christmas story out of the Bible? Well, that's what this pageant is, so let me read it to you. I don't believe that to you because I've never heard the Christmas story. Why not? They don't even know what a Bible is. And they never went to church in their whole life until your dumb brother told them we got refreshments. Now we have to waste all this time for nothing. <coughs> all right now. <coughs> and there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Joseph went up from Galilee with his with Mary his wife being great with child. Hey! She wasn't great! <laughs> all right now, we all know that Mary was pregnant. I don't think it's very nice to say Mary was pregnant. Well, she was. I don't care. I don't think your mother should say Mary was pregnant. It's better to say great with child. I'm not supposed to talk about people being pregnant. Especially in church. And wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. My gosh, they didn't have room for a Jesus? Well, they didn't know that the baby was going to be Jesus. Didn't Mary know? Didn't he know? What's the matter with Joseph? And I'm telling them her pregnant and everything. What's a manger? Some kind of bed? Well, they didn't have a bed in the barn, so Mary had to use whatever was there. What if you had a brand new baby and, and you didn't have a place to put it, a bed to put it in? We put Gladys in a bureau drawer. Well, <laughs> there you are. You <laughs> didn't have a bed for Gladys, so you used something else. Oh, we had a bed all right. It's just Ollie, she was still in it. She wouldn't get out. She didn't like Gladys. Remember that, Ollie? How you didn't like Gladys? That was oh. pretty hard. <laughs> and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. What? Out of the box, right? Horrible vengeance, the mighty marvel. Gladys, I don't know what you're talking about. The mighty marvel, an amazing comic. Out of the box, right? No. Gladys, this is the angel of the Lord who came to the shepherds. <laughs> Out of nowhere, right? In the black night, right? Well, in a way. Shut up, Zach. Um, now, when Jesus was born, there came wise men from the east, bearing gifts of gold and fragrance What's that? and myrrh. What's that? Well... They were special gifts. They were spices and, and precious oils. Oil? What kind of present is oil? We get better presents from the welfare. Were they the welfare of the wise men? No, they were kings and they were sent by... They were kings and they were sent... Well, it's about time someone important showed up. If they're kings, they can get the baby out of the feed box until the innkeeper were to get off. Uh, they were sent by Herod, and um, and he was going to he wanted to find Jesus and put him to death. Yes. My gosh, he just got bored. They're gonna kill a baby. Who's Herod in this play? Herod is not in this play. He's out to kill a baby, and he isn't even in the play. Well, somebody better be Herod. Let Charlie be Herod, and they say, go get me that baby, and they say, okay, because he's a king and all. But that is, they don't do it. They go back, and they get Herod. I'm not going to be Herod. There's no Herod. Forget about Herod. No, uh, Joseph gets the shepherds together, and they go wipe out Herod. And... <laughs> See, they're going to put someone 
marriage. <laughs> and I run away with the baby till the fight's over. Somebody ought to fix the innkeeper. <laughs> Glad to see my wife out the innkeeper. I can't. I'm an angel. Five minutes, everybody. Five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm worried about his bathtub. That's what I have to do. He doesn't have a bathtub. What is he hanging around in your house then? In the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Joseph went into Bethlehem, with Mary his wife, and the great with child. And while they were there, she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
believe that was Emma Jordan and the rest of them? Emma, this was the best Christmas party we've ever had. I'm not sure why, but I think it was them. Could that be? Well, I don't know. I always get weepy in the pageants. I guess it's the carols and the children and all. But you're right. This was the best one yet, and it should have been the worst. It was just something different. Well, the angel of the Lord certainly was different. <laughs> yes, you know, but I like that. She had lots of spunk. Most times you can't even hear the angel of the Lord. I'm going to find Grace and tell her. I just wish now that I'd let her use your Jesus to play the baby Jesus. Who loves the baby Jesus? Why, it was a doll. Oh, I don't think so, Irma. That was no doll. Well... It did seem real. Christmas. It's almost Christmas, kids. Oh. 